Today is Saturday, April 30th, 2016 at Queen's Vets. Queen's Veterinary Surgery. I have a case of a white female, Pomeranian, two and a half years old, come in with hot spot as diagnosed by the owner. The Pomeranian has gone home, so I'm just showing the case, case uh, records. Now, the hot spot is a patch of hair loss above the left elbow, measuring about uh, 4 inches times 3 inches. Now, I have illustrated the hot spot and uh, as you can see, the owner has clipped off the hair and there's a yellow patch, which is the ulcerated skin, yellow patch. And inside the yellow patch, there are two raw areas. Then, okay, further out the yellow patch, there are several small rounded uh, ulcers, ulcerated wounds and uh, they look really much like ringworm so the owner said that it's hot spot hot spot actually refers to bacterial infection or any infection causing a break in the skin and uh, there are more than 10 such spots so what we do is we have to make sure that there's no ringworm so we will do the microscopic technique to check for the ring. This video shows Okay. Ah, no air bubble better, yeah. Okay. Okay, mount ready. Okay, finish. Okay, so we, we, I will show my assistant. Will have mounted the stand on the microscope. Now she switch on this. Uh, okay, microscope. Now she switch it on. Okay. Now in Queen's Veterinary Surgery, we do have the software there, software which we use to show to the customer what you see on the microscope. Instead of having the customer to, to peer onto the microscope, we have this uh, monitor to show. Okay, now the normal, normal hair of the dog is, or of this Pomeranian is what you call that? The there are a lot of uh, what you call that? This in the medulla, there's a lot of these segments. This is normal. And uh, if there's ringworm, if there's ringworm, you, you will see the rough areas. You go further a bit. We'll, okay, with normal hair. Okay, normal hair. We will show the normal hair first. Because this video is produced with Topaya Vets. It's done by one of my interns. Okay. Mm. Let me just continue. Mm. Uh, wait, we just continue. Microscope 100 times. Okay. This is hot. Some dogs like huskies, I guess, yeah. Then they keep warm. Other breeds are... Uh, mm. oh, this is fragmented, okay, fragmented, not segmented, fragmented, medulla. Wait, let me... Sh oh, he showed... Wait, let me continue, continue. Yeah, similar way. Don't, 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 don't switch off. Okay, uh, Okay, the cuticle is the outer surface of the hair. Husky ringworm is the top wire vet's case. After shaving, you can see a lot of reddish rings. Now. The out pouching is a spores, a ringworm spore. Mm. Captain is Python. Python are long thin filaments that can be observed branching out around hair shafts. Under microscope, yeah, you can see. They can form in the environment. They grow by budding out from the hive. Hmm. 
So there are two species, Microsporium species. In Microsporum species, Microconidia observed to be club-shaped colonies. Mm, club, so like club. Trichophyton and another species of ringworm. In Trichophyton species, Microconidia starts off like birds on a wire and then go on to assume the formation of a cluster of grapes. The internet has produced quite a good video on this. She's a vet student, Vanessa Sim. This is from cases in Topaya Vets. Okay, so the Macroconidia. The characteristic identifier of the microsporum species is actually the Macroconidia. It is a conidium that has three or more nuclei. It occurs in large numbers and is large, rough and thick walled and arises from the ends of undifferentiated hyphae. Large, thick walled resting spores. They are able to survive in the toughest, most unfavorable conditions. Physical characteristics of ringworm in ringworm dogs. Yeah. It's like in human. Yeah. Yeah. Affect human beings. Zoonotic means. So that is the end of my intense one. So now we will show how we use the microscope. And uh, so, so what is this then? The normal dog's hair. This is a Pomeranian hair. It's fragmented medulla, as you can see. This is normal. Now the cuticle. The cuticle is intact. There's no no uh, up out pouching. Is there any up pouching of the spores? Up pouching of the cuticle. There might be some here. Is there out pouching here? Let's see again. We just examine closely. You can magnify. Let's switch off the arm first. Okay. Switch off the whole thing. Yeah. Okay. We are, okay. Come. So, just switch off the whole thing. Yeah. So this one now we magnify. You can see the fragmented. Uh, medulla of the dogs of the Pomeranian. Now, is there any up pouching? There's some scratching here, so you can see just the the breakdown of the cuticle. Normally, the cuticle shows a normal cuticle of a normal hair. There's no scratching. It's quite smooth. Where is it? Let's show one of them. Quite smooth. Just go to another view. Okay. Wait. Very slowly, so we don't don't just sh zoom in and out because not necessary. Just okay. Focus. Stop. Stop. Okay. These are these are the dog hairs. You can see this this one is quite smooth. There's no out pouching. Okay. Uh, magnify a bit. Okay. But due to the dog scratching, there's some. Uh, Roughness in the cuticle. That means the side. Okay, someone give it another. No, okay. Further down. Further down a bit. Down, not up. Down, okay, down. Okay. Stop first. Now there are too much air bubble because apparently I did not scrape off the air bubble. Now you can see the hair, the fragmented one, and on the left is. The medulla is not so fragmented, yeah. but you can see the cuticle. The medulla side of the hair is quite uh, smooth. Okay, uh, enlarge it. Enlarge. Okay. Now, is there any ringworm? Ringworm, you see the out pouching or hyphae. Okay. Wait. Don't don't move. Let me see. Overall, there is there is no ringworm. In this uh, specimen, we, we take out. 
then uh, go to show me another view another view somewhere else diff different different hair yeah. okay stop we will magnify it magnify it okay you can see the the the, the, the surface of the hair is it, there's no breakdown the integrity is good then uh, the other one also there is no outpouching of high fat filaments or any spores that don't move already just enlarge it will do is it the largest? so it's a fragmented medulla and the cuticle also is very uh, smooth so there's no scratching no damage to, to the cuticle so overall I would say this Pomeranian has no uh, no ringworm and those red rashes, those spots are due to bacterial infection and due to traumatic injury maybe the dog's using the <coughs> the back paw to scratch the area to relieve the itch although the owner says she has not seen it being done so due to, from microscopic examination we can see uh, how many times is that? is it 100 times? Ten. let me see ten. 10 times but then 10 times but we have this this uh, monitor to to, to uh, show the customer that uh, definitely there is no outpouching and therefore no spores or hyphae around from the cuticle so in conclusion this Pomeranian has no ringworm in those hairs we collected over the hot spot April 20, 30th 2016 Queen's Veterinary Surgery Farrah Road, Singapore